the internet. Have you guys ever figured out exactly how the internet works? I mean, we turn on a computer, we turn on a screen, and it just somehow gets this so-called thing called internet. Did you guys know the majority of the internet is run by AWS? So if AWS goes down, the internet goes down. I know it's kind of a dystopian thought, but that's the true reality of the rails of the internet right now. It's actually a coin looking to solve this problem. And this has to do with the transfer of data. There's a project looking to solve the problem with this, specifically in the transfer of data. The project is called Jasmine. In today's KuCoin DigiDive, we're gonna be talking about Jasmine, how it works, what it's doing, how it could possibly reshape the internet. If you guys are ready to go ahead and get started trading this coin, you guys can get 20% off trading fees in the link in the description below. All right, so first off to understand Jasmine, you need to understand a little bit how the internet works. You have these giga data factories like Facebook, Google, Amazon, they all give you this so-called free item or free thing, or they let you search their platform for free, but you're actually giving up your data when you are doing this. So Jasmine is going to be solving this by allowing you to capture your data and use it. Now, this doesn't only come down to the human being. This also goes for devices like your phone, your car, your computers, everything. Everything is involved with the internet. Just think about it. Your phone's connected to the internet. Your car's now con connected to the internet. Your house is now even connected to the internet. Everything has data and is giving off data. And if you aren't owning the data or if you don't know who owns your data, you don't own the data. And currently how we have it, we're kind of just okay with these companies owning our data, which in some cases is actually pretty upsetting. So Jasmine is looking to solve this by creating a blockchain, which is the Jasmine blockchain that will allow the transfer of data in a decentralized way with the Jasmine token as being the utility token in order to transfer this data. So again, I'll sum it up. The Jasmine blockchain is producing a safe environment in which data and information can be saved, stored, or exchanged. Let's go ahead and talk a little more about this Jasmine blockchain. Normally, like a centralized system, the data is collected, analyzed, and monetized because yeah, it's the quote unquote free system, right? Jasmine works a little bit different. Blockchain is decentralized and designed to protect the user's data. Users can store their data in personal data lockers maintained in the Jasmine's distributed storage system. They use IPFS for this. And they also have the Smart Guardian, which serves as a registration platform for all these IoT devices. There's also the Security Knowledge Communicator, the SKC, which features identity verification and registration, enabling users to add and take away different IoT devices. So in general, Jasmine is creating this platform that is allowing the users to transfer their data between different IoT devices. If you guys don't know what IoT means, it means Internet of Things. Basically, anything that is connected to the Internet would be considered a IoT device. In general, Jasmine is creating a decentralized blockchain technology that allows efficient data transfer and storage of different things. Let's go and get into this trailer so you guys can see a little bit of what's up.
All right, so what's the difference between Jasmine and Jasmine coin? Jasmine is the blockchain where all the data is stored, transferred, and saved. Now, as for the Jasmine coin, this is going to be trading on KuCoin as well. The Jasmine coin is used as the utility token. This is basically going to be used for gas and payment for transfer and storage, etc. There's currently 4.7 billion Jasmine tokens with a maximum supply of 50 billion tokens. Now, Jasmine is going to be going through four different phases. The first is going to be platform popularization. This is going to be attracting end users to the platform and deploying new solutions on there. So this will be the first step in gaining a market share. The second step will be value growth. So this will be determined through the cost and efficiency with a product or protocol and in general upon execution. Next is the ecosystem expansion. This is going to be growing after they get their core base. They will be growing and branching into additional users and more people to come onto the platform. And then lastly, you have the marketplace expansion. And this, in general, is going to have the goal of bringing any and everything IoT related onto the Jasmine blockchain. It's almost like the saying of the cell phone. The cell phone is not really valuable with one person on the network. But when you have two, it's useful. But when you have three, it's even better. When you have 10, it's great. Now when you have 100, it's amazing. But when you keep adding more users, you have the exponential growth. That's what you see in these technology companies and potentially with Jasmine. So overall, what are my closing thoughts on the Jasmine blockchain and the Jasmine token? I think the vision is really intuitive and it's an interesting vision in general. I do know that IoT is going to be a thing of the future, especially with decentralization needing to take a larger part in it. Now, as for the Jasmine blockchain taking adoption, Time will tell. We'll see what happens. There are other projects and teams that are looking to tackle this issue, like, for example, IOTA. So time will tell. We'll see what happens. And if the chain does get adopted or if it is used, then it could definitely see some price appreciation on the Jasmine token. However, if there is no development or adoption or governments choose not to use them, then there would need to be some sort of catalyst in order for growth with this project. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this KuCoin DigiDive. And if you guys are ready to go ahead and get started trading, you can get 20% off trading fees in the link in the description below. If you guys haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. And you guys can check out some of our previous videos. You'll see them here, 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 or like somewhere.